Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagis, I welcome you to your weekly reading, weekly energies, third week in July. From the time you view this video as time reference, as I used to mention before, the time is just for reference. For some of you, it could happen as we speak. For some of you, it's sooner. Others of you, later. For others of you, happen already. The third week in July, it's from 16th to the 23rd or in kind of that time frame or from the time you see it. I hope everyone is doing well as everyone is here. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for taking your time to come along and listen these messages. Much, much, much appreciated. Sagis. Sun, Moon, Rising, Suns, and Venus. Let's see what we got, where we are, and of course, how these energies lead us to our path. Death, changes, uh, very changeable, where a lot of changes are happening around this week, where there's a lot of cleanup. This I need, I'll keep. This what I don't need, I will leave, and so on. Death, Scorpio energy, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the world. So indeed here, like slowly, slowly, you come to a place where you, you know which way to go and which way to not. And yes, world is the last major arcana in the tarot majors and very, very strongly speaks completion. Ending, there's a slow motion ending here with a situation with a person, whoever. I have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With world, I have fixed zodiac signs. As I mentioned them before, you know, fixed zodiac signs speaks of Taurus, Leos, Aquarians, and Scorpios. Here you are in the Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. And Ace of Swords. Clarity comes cl crystal clear here. And I feel here you, you could have a hard time to let go something. But I feel here now it feels a must. I need to do this, even hurts. Even I feel the way I feel. And you see that quite clear. And I must speak here with a single Sagittarian. Look at you. Let's see, clarifying five of pentacles here, five of wands. Yes, you are leaving a crowd or you, you're leaving behind an argument or whatever here you, you thought was probably your right or, you know, sometimes somebody says it's better to be happy than right. That's kind of a thing at this time. Five of wands, page of pentacles and ten of wands. All right, so it seems here that you're done with an earth sign. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So it's it's quite a major thing here from an argument, from something here, whatever they done, how they done, or whatever situation. The Four of Pentacles, why I've been holding for so, so long. Will of Fortune. You are looking for a sign from the universe or feel like not the right time or I'm not clear what should I do. Unbalance or there was something here quite unbalanced. It's kind of you, you could hold back because you needed an answer or you need a clarity regards whatever it is. For some of you, there is someone here who cares very much 
for you and they could be the catalyst helping you seeing the truth let's clarify really quick this ace of swords the truth about you don't need to wait anymore the wait is not in your plans done waiting for whatever here happened past or in the past or you can't move forward it's kind of like you cannot stay stuck in the past or overthinking of what could be what was and kind of these things because of someone's behavior okay and always hoping to to get the right thing or whatever and I feel here that's a ego of someone. So the truth is, Sagittarius, no need to wait. No need to feel stuck. Just because somebody here done whatever they done and you hoped certain things to come out or you hope for someone to do certain things might not be the case. Okay, loves. So the the changes here about this or death energy. Five of Cups. Lovers and the Hierophant. Choose stability. Choose you and leave behind whatever was quite ugly or the past. For some of you, you you've been quite depressed lately. But now, it's kind of like, now I choose to love me and go and see balanced and stable. So look at here, five of cups. Five of wands, five of pentacles. Five of swords is missing, which five of swords speaks that somebody here could try your kindness for weakness. Somebody here is selfish or with selfish reasons tried something and you never could understand or you you always want to know an explanation I feel here now choosing you choosing what can be or the one to be with them it's kind of like will make you to leave that baggage behind. And yes, Ten of Wands speaks that I leave this burden behind. Because I choose to go towards something real, something stable, something that suits me and who I am. And yes, so I feel here for some Sagis, you've been staying single for quite a long time just because you you really need some assurance or you need to to have a clear vision whatever whatever happened with whomever happened. Okay? But not anymore. Not anymore. You choose you. I feel here also, yes, we are in um, in July, the second part of July. But I feel here from June, for some of you have been made this decision. And till, till the end of November, you will know truly where is your place. As we have the Hierophant and the Death, Full Moon in Taurus, and New Moon in Scorpio. That's November. So yes, for some of you, if you've been waiting for someone to come in clarity, I feel here it's only an argument and then it's kind of like, after this, I'm out, kind of. So I feel here there's something here like, you might try to see, you know, 
through certain things, something but doesn't feel like. Because somebody here has their own selfish reasons. And for that reason, things are not going the way they're supposed to or the way you think they can. Another thing here for some of you Sages, I feel here there is a there is a strong lesson for many, many of you to know clearly what you really deserve, who you really deserve, what your true power is, and don't let anyone to take your true power. Four of pentacles with five of pentacles, that's nine of pentacles. Your confidence could be a little like shaky. Take that back. Take that power back. The best advice for you, Sagis. The best advice for my Sagis. Eight of Wands. Movement. I feel here for some of you, indeed, here you have that big wake up call as well. Now you see how looks the new, or you see towards something new. Knight of Swords. Also, for some of you, you might have a dispute here with someone, or it's kind of watch whoever will say whatever they're gonna say. Don't lower yourself by any means because they will not gonna last. Three of Cups. Seven of Wands. And Ten of Swords. So there is something here. It's kind of be firm in your choices. Be you. And if you already chose, keep that. Because I feel here for some of you, whoever tried to get away or try something here, whatever, they will try to come forward for whatever reason and do something that is more likely to hurt you. So don't let anyone to put you in that position that is less than what you deserve. Know that, loves. Know that. Ten of Swords does not um, a great energy. And no, it's kind of, yes, they want to hurt you exactly where, you, where is pain. So don't let them to put that knife in that wound to roll it. So if you are trying to heal, try to move on with your life, don't let anyone to hurt you again. Because I feel here there's something here that it's for them. Also, not everything in this life needs a reaction, okay? The only knight I, may, I have here missing, which is the knight of wands, is your knight, which very much speaks your consistency will be tested or your true power, your confidence towards something new. Where's your target? Whatever you've been putting your effort in, here's your knight. Here's your knight. The next one, we have nine of wands and the high priestess. Pay attention to your intuition. Speaks very strongly what's ahead. Okay. And behind, we have eight of cups. Know in the first place how did you felt and what you put effort into. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, whoever you've been dealing, air, earth, okay, if you really want to be in a stable, grounded, or long-term connection, they will not offering to you, know that. So very, very strong reading, and yes, a lot of movement happens or is about to happen for many many sages pay attention and also pay attention who you let close to you and before we go to the oracles i will look really quick in the deck 
where is as well the five of swords that five that is missing in that reading where you are at let's see where is because the hidden cards many many times speaks by itself okay so five of swords is right here the next card we have chariot ace of cups page of wands king of wands so they they are just for talk 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 not too much it's kind of like if you made the decision keep that it's not necessary that you gotta talk with them page of swords they keep an eye what's good for them queen of pentacles so the person who's coming is more likely air earth energy could be someone who could be watching you from afar quite a long time could be someone you had an argument or brings some arguments into your life so whatever it is pay attention it's most likely for your own own good your advice number 33 freedom is yours you are the one to choose what you're gonna do and underneath here we have the 29th the giraffe spirit see the big picture pay attention us Volter spirit 63 nothing is wasted and porcupine spirit time for beginner mind the beginner mind very much speaks that you are into something new go ahead and the turtle spirit very strongly speaks that slow and steady wins the race i feel here whatever is here your dedication speaks very strongly for whatever it's ahead so again sagittarius thank you for watching if you would like to subscribe share it like it and leave your feedback much appreciation and i'll see you next time namaste